So let's continue and we have successfully restarted our uh, machine and uh, we have already installed the virtual box as well as uh, Vagrant. And the next step is to installing a home, Homestead uh, Vagrant box. So once the virtual box and the VMware are, has been installed and we should add a Laravel Homestead box to our Vagrant installation using a following command. So it will take some time depending on your internet speed to download a uh, Homestead Vagrant box. So let us copy this command and uh, let me run our, our git bus over here. So where is my git bus? I cannot find it here. Okay. So let's uh, run this command over here. Just uh, paste it. And it will take some time for this one. So uh, I think it will at least take uh, five minutes for this one. So let me pause the video and I'll be back once the installation has been successfully done. Okay, so it has been successfully added the uh, uh, homestead box. So we can find that one in if you go to our uh, directory, the user and the username, C drive users and the user directory. And inside the dot background that D, inside this one, you can go to boxes and you can see the Laravel background and the version code and the virtual box. And this is a virtual machine which is an Ubuntu 18.04 uh, 18 AMD64. So that's the uh, added, that's the box that it has been added with the Homestead, uh, Laravel Homestead box for us. So after we add the Homestead Vagrant box, the next step is we need to uh, go to our, we need to clone the Homestead. Uh, so for you may install a homestead by cloning a repository. So we can just run this command or else you can just go directly go to this link and download the file. So let's copy this uh, code and just copy this line of uh, the git command and just paste it over here and just hit enter. So this will go and download the uh, homestead for us and it will create our one directory. So let's go back to our folder over here and let's go back to the uh, C drive users and Richard and that's the username and you can go to the, this folder which is a homestead and the file has been added inside this one. So that's correct and the next step is we need to go and we need to go inside this uh, homestead directory and we need to run once you have cloned the homestead uh, repositories you need to run the bus that you need this is basically for and the command from the homestead directory in uh, to create a homestead yml file so we need to create a configuration file which is homestead yml file so uh, basically if you go to that directory you can see that current file so we have one example file but we need to run a basic command that is a uh, uh, bus that you need that sh so let's go inside over here and let's go back to this directory. So let me copy this one. Let's copy this uh, directory and just type it as a CD and change the directory and paste that one. So we are in and let's say if we can find that in it that SH over here. So let me run, uh, let me run that one. So I will just say, uh, I'll just say as uh, we can we run it directly. So bastard uh, in it that SH. So we should be able to run this one. So let me copy this command and just paste it over here. Yeah, so that the homestead has been initialized. And if you go back to that folder, so we can see some of the file has been added. So basically we need to work with the homestead. So let me open this file. And uh, let me see that the first IP address is the IP address that we will be using to access our homestead background box and the memory that we provide to that virtual box cpus and the provider so provider is we are using a virtual box we can also make use of other provider like uh, you can see the vmware fusion box station parallel hyper v so that's make use of a provider over here and the next step is we need to make use of configure our share folder so let me open this one and let me comment out this one because we will be not using this one just comment out this one and you can also remove it if we we can also remove it if we because we are not using currently for the authorization using a key ssh and the next step is to map the folder so map folder is to map your host machine or folder 
to the Vagrant box or the Homestead box folder. So this is the folder inside our Vagrant box which we just uh, configured and this will be mapped to our current host machine. So in the host machine we need to configure one folder. So let me go to the on my document and inside let me create a one file. So website should be fine. So inside, let us create a one folder which is website and I will map all of the website file inside this one. So basically this will be our cell folder, the, the host cell folder which will be mapped with our background box. So that's, uh, let me just paste it over here. So that this is mapped with this uh, folder. So uh, everything that we put inside, all the project that we put inside this uh, background box will be added inside, uh, uh, inside this. Will be also copied to this folder. So if you go and check what it's saying is that that uh, the folder property of the homestead environment file list all the folders you wish to share with your homestead environment so the folder that is going to say all files with this folder are changed they will be kept synchronized between the between the local machine and the homestead environment so you may configure as a cell folder as necessary so we will just add that one so we'll just say okay all of this and all of this is ma uh, mapped to our the background box this folder and the next stage is the sites uh, and the sites uh, if you go and check over here uh, let me go to the sites uh, configure the uh, sites over here not familiar with the next thing the problem is the site no problem and the, the site is the property that we need to easily map the domain name to the folder of a homestead. So basically we are mapping the home is uh, the domain name that we are going to use for our development with our the the vagrant uh, homestead environment folder. So basically what we do is this is our uh, domain name so I'll just say as a uh, um, blog blog test so blog test will be our domain name and it will be mapped to uh, this folder inside a vagrant box or a homestead. So the homestead environment So go to home vagrant code and inside the code let us create a one folder that should be our blog So we can add a multiple project over here let us a blog and plug it. This will be mapped to this uh, This domain name. So if you can create if you want to add another domain name It's just you can just copy this and change the domain name and just change the um, the location of the the folder of the file for your website so that's it and we'll just save this one for now and after we have this one uh, if you change the site property provision from say you should uh, run a background reload provision to update the next in configuration okay so we are not uh, we haven't run our command so let me skip that for now and the next step is to host hostname resolution so we need to configure the hostname resolution inside this folder so which is basically we need to add this line so that line come from this ip address so what i will do is i'll just copy this one and let us go to that our folder location so i'll just paste it over here and sorry for that i think we wrongly type so the host I need to remove this one so that's a location we need to go and inside this we have a host file so just check that uh, make sure go to the property and make sure that read every attribute is read only is unchecked so if you check this one uh, you cannot modify you cannot save that file so just uncheck that one if you are unable to save just come and check whether the host property read only has checked just cancel this and uh, let us Go to our notepad and run the notepad in an administrator mode. And uh, let me open that one. Yes. And let's open our host file. So which is on this location. And just change to all files. Host. And just click on open. And that's our all of the domain name map with our IP address. So this is a uh, block that test. So basically that is with our, uh, let me go to homestead a configuration file. And you can see the IP address is this one. And we have mapped that IP address with this domain name. So that's it. And we have already configured that one. That's fine. And just 
save this one, save this one, and uh, that should be fine. And let us close this one too. And let's go and see what's the next step. So after we configure this one, and we have to launch a Vagrant box using this command, the Vagrant up. So we need to be inside, the command should be run inside from a homestead directory. So the Vagrant will boot the virtual machine and automatically configure the cell folder and the next, uh, next inside. So uh, let's go back to our, this uh, command over here, which is a git command. And we are already inside this uh, homestead directory. And the next step is to run this command, which is a vagrant up. So what we will do is uh, v-a-g-r-a-n-t vagrant and just say as up. And this will bring up our virtual uh, machine. So it may take some time to bring up. So just hold on. So everything looks like uh, fine. And let's go and check whether that one has been successfully up and running. Let's go to the virtual box. And we can see the homestead is uh, running now.